Hey you what's up guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm gonna introduce another matching system with you. And before that, I want to show you guys how to replace the useless deal of your cards to make you well prepared for this ranking. First, we need to go to the mall and buy a reset stone. Here is it, the yellow one. And uh, this stone will cost you 10xwg. Later, we don't use it to replace the skills of our cards. Now let's come back, and you will see that the reset stone is already waiting for you in your backpack. Then apply it and select your hero. For example, I choose Gigi, and here we can check her skill. Uh, to be friendly, I was quite satisfied with all her skills, especially the active one. Restores the car with the lost health. And uh, this still really saved my life in the real battle, so I don't want to change it at all. But for the passive still, the body protection, uh, this one level still is quite ordinary. You know what I mean. Especially uh, for Gigi. As a healer, she usually took less damage than her teammate. So that's the reason I can recite this deal. So what I need to do is to use the recite skills. And here you can see, I choose the body protection and uh, click the recite button. Yeah, here is it. Now we choose OK. Here we draw the results. You can see the passive skill has been promoted. And uh, if you are not satisfied with this, you can reset it again or you can preserve it. And to reset once more, you need to go back and repeat what we have done. So that's it. Let's come back and move on. And here is the allo matching I'm gonna introduce for you. The difference between the normal battle and the allo matching is that uh, for every normal battle, you can only get some tiny price after every victory. But in the allo matching, the rewards can be much more better. So in my mind, there is no reason for a dream card player to escape from this model. There is no doubt that you need to pay more attention on this video to make sure you can get good grace in the final settlement. Okay, let's go for it. Now we get into the matching page. You can see there are a total of 5 flights in this page. And for the biggest right one, you can see my ranking position. Currently, I'm non participant, so you can't see my power and my source. And later, after I participate in, the, in this battle, you don't see this. And here, for now, the total jet, jet port is over 50,000. That's really attractive. And by the way, you guys can see there is a down for the weekly settlement. And uh, for every week, if you want to participate in this ranking, you need to pay 10 XWG. So, so that's it. Now we are going to join the battle by clicking this participate button. Let's see what's gonna happen to this page. Yeah, that's fine. Now you can see I'm successfully registered. See here, my basic information has been displayed on this right flag, and you can see here is my ranking number is 299, and the value of my power is just a little bit over than 6000, and that's not bad. And now you can find 4 players on the blue flights. Those players were actually recommended by the system, because the system believes there is not big gap between us because we got similar ranking position, you see. There is not big gap between our ranking number. But I think the, the, the gap between our power is huge. I'm not that full, so I'm not ready for challenge any one of them. But if I'm ready someday, I can just use the challenge button to hold a a battle for us, and uh, every victory we gonna get relevant awards. 
and that will be good. And for each day, we have ten chance to challenge them. If the times run out, we can pay for some extra opportunity. Yeah, that's it. In the description, we can find some rules for the elo matching. The first rule tell us one week is one season for the elo matching, and uh, the ra the ranking just open every other week. And the second rule is, uh, just like what I said. Players have 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 ten challenge times per day, and uh, you can buy some others. Ten XWG will be charged for each extra challenge time. The third rule is to remind you guys, check your elo deck before you challenge someone. And uh, this information is important. You need to remember every victory you will gain three scores, and. Uh, each failure, your enemy will get one, and there is no change in other sides. The ranking number was totally based on the scores, and there are some basic explanations of some elements of this game, like translation words and uh, sediments. I think you guys can check this later by yourself. In the end of this page, there is a table that can tell you about the elo ranking rewards. For example, if you become the player of the first rank, the bonus you will get is 14% of the total jackpot. That's really attractive. So in general, the rewards of the first 30 players are relatively better. After that, you can also get some XWG awards. And to achieve that, you need to at least run in the top 100. That's it, let's come back. You can check the rewards you ever received, but it's of course empty for me. So let's continue. Here is the ranking list of the elo matching. Click here and you will see the best player of this game. And you can also check your ranking number here. You can see the first player is a Wolfman. I need to say I already play with this guy, and every time I lose miserably. God, what a tragedy! And after that, here will be your Elo matching records. And of course, it's empty for me. And it's very important to check your Elo dead before each battle. And uh, here you can use the configuration to decide which one you wanna use for next for next day. And uh, don't forget to save it. At the end of this video, I want to show you guys what the real Elo matching looks like. So I'm going to challenge someone first. Let me choose a competitor with relatively lower power. So that has to be you. So let's start a battle and see what's the gap between us. Now we are getting the battle room. Here we go. There is an obvious gap between our health points. You see, his health is almost 5000 points higher than mine. What is that? And uh, he totally has 8 cards. I only have 5. Seriously, I mean, that's the competitor around me? I don't think I'm qualified, okay? Don't be hurry. I do want to check the quality of his card. Okay, the first one is the green card. That's impressive. So my suggestion is for most of your cards possible as you can. Or you will be like me. Really? I never have a purple card since I played this game. That's a little bit shameful. Okay, never mind. It seems like there's no way I can win this game. But I gotta see and learn so much. So, that's just finished. And in the next video, I want to show you guys how to buy some new car with high quality in the marketplace. Includes how to pay the best fee for that card. Oh, see that darn effect. I hope I can get one 
as well. Compared to my enemy, I'm such a poor guy. <laughs> but no worry, I will be out of this soon. Finally, there's the result. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like this content, you can recommend me to other players. And I will see you in next video.